A good hand in scat is one with lots of trumps, which allow you to outplay your opponents. Once a year, scat aficionados meet in the small town of Grimma near Leipzig for the scat half marathon. It's basically 12 hours of non-stop play. Here, they traditionally play with scat cards made in the German town of Altenburg. The pros know what makes a good card. You have to go by how they feel in your hands, how they play, how they shuffle. You can tell a good card when you shuffle it, it's easy and light. They need to be a bit more robust, these cards only hold up for two series. A good card has to have a good feel, you need to be able to play more than five or six games with it. Smooth and strong. The game of scat was invented in the early 19th century in the city of Altenburg in eastern Germany. The town even has its own card museum. Over 500 years ago, the first card makers settled in Altenburg. The early playing cards were all hand painted. Basic printing technology wasn't introduced until later. These examples date back to 1509. They're some of the oldest playing cards in the world. Every Altenburg card maker had his own personal style. The motifs and figures reflect everyday life at the time. The Altenburg Card Museum has been researching the history of playing cards for over 50 years. The amazing thing about cards is that mostly all aspects of life can be found on them, be it the everyday life of people, superstitions, even relationships between men and women or political affairs. All these things can be found on playing cards. Today the Altenburg cards are made in a factory that was built in 1832. Approximately 45 million decks of cards are produced here every year. The cards are made of particularly strong cardboard and sealed with a special varnish. The Altenburg cards are in demand worldwide. The Jacks, Queens and Aces of Altenburg are sold in more than 120 countries. These cards, for example this joker here, were designed here. These are our jokers. You will only find them in the Altenburg deck. The same applies to the symbol for diamonds. This is the ace Altenburg diamond symbol. It's in every deck we sell. Also the design and composition of these kings. These are all typical traits of the cards from our factory and our town. To this very day, the cards are based on the historic designs from the 19th century. Different regions also have their own playing cards. For example, in eastern Germany, scat is only played with the so-called Saxon deck. In Western Germany, the French deck is dominant. It's the same one that's used for rummy or poker. Styles such as Art Deco or Art Nouveau have also influenced the look of the playing cards. A playing card isn't simply a run-of-the-mill product. It represents a country's culture, its gaming culture. In other words, cards make a statement about a country or a region's identity. In Germany, there are different decks, just as there are different regions. The card games are as varied as the cards themselves. In Germany alone, there are more than 50 different variations. Scat is one of the most popular card games, and its popularity is growing beyond Germany's borders. Today, Scat tournaments are being held in Spain, France, the US, and South America. Very often, the cards used in these tournaments were made in Altenburg. <laughs>